Pampers also dealing with us and working her jelly. The beautiful Paradise Sanders of Paradise Promotions. That's my baby. Y'all better give it up. Give it up for Paradise. I don't know a female promoter in Houston out grinding Paradise right now. I'm not finna lie. And I'm not saying that because she's a part of the team. I'm not saying that because she is dope at what she does. I'm saying it because I got to keep it true. I'm from the H. We going to keep it true, baby. So shout out to Paradise. Paradise, I'm actually going to do an interview with her because her story is so phenomenal. She is not from Houston. And in less than two years, literally, I have watched myself personally Paradise build Paradise promotions into something that is a force that can't be reckoned with. So so shout out to my girl Paradise of Paradise Promotions and she also has a couple artists that she was working with of course uh, Mike Lauda that's my boy chopping this screwing that dope chopping this screwing that dope <laughs> so shout out to the illest white boy I personally know um, and I only say that cause when you see him he's not gonna match his music you gonna think this boy on some rock star jumping through doors kind of mosh pit and it's the opposite but it's not <laughs> so shout out to my boy Mike Lotta holding it down and then of course um we have uh, so many artists that we're working with um I've merged every artist that I'm working with into the flip five kind of situation and they are helping me out with the artists that I have so everything is really 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 working out for the benefit of the home team so shout out to my home team my flip five family I thank God for you guys. You have came at the perfect time in my life where um, when you're trying to get structure for what you're doing, it's always good to have, you know, good people surrounding you and things like that. And when they push you to to be your best, you can't help but be great. So if y'all think I'm the bomb, y'all just wait for it. Y'all just wait for it because this shit ain't over at all. And then also I got a shout out zero. Shout out Ro. For the opening song. OMG, it was so tacky. I almost forgot about my brother. Like, and I say brother only because it's deeper than hip hop. I'm very, very, very proud of Joseph McVeigh. Like, for real, for real. I'm very, very proud of him. Um, all the struggles, all the hardships, all the knockdowns and all that. Man, my boy got through it. So shout out to you, bro. I am just so proud of you, like for real. And I know that um, the people that we grew up with and, and the people that we, you know, fellowshiped with and things of that nature, they're just as proud of you. So shout out for being a commendable stand up G in this business. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a break. Because I have a, a highlight segment that I'm going to play when I come back. Um, actually, I'm not going to play it. I'm sorry. I'm going to spotlight an artist tonight. And the spotlight artist will be announced as soon as I come back. And right now, what we're going to do since we're on our flip five, I'm going to go ahead and knock y'all out with my boy, Els. Here he is with his latest release, Pablo. You're tuned in. Got juice. It's your girl, the Robin H. Come on, Els. Let's give it to him right quick, baby. I'm on a whole nother level. Ran in the 
the streets with the rebels. Swash to the cane with a metal. Conversation care about some cash. Cigarellas filled with some gas. Watching for the snakes in the grass. Hoping I can pass. I'm just trying to live in the hour. I'm just trying to live with the power. I'm just trying to look for the peso. Sauce in the pot like Prego. Work, do whatever I say. So the neck plugged in like Lego. Yeah, yeah. And they only want to talk about some pesos. Woo. Soaring with the eagles. Stay away from people. Niggas so evil. Keep the work in the regal. Pistol in the pocket. About to turn into a sequel. And I'm rolling with my dog. So I'm calling up my beagles. Like Pablo. City on the man, treat me like I'm here to hunt shows. Had to stack a couple bands. If they really want it, I'ma give it to them pronto. Tell them I'ma give them what they ask for. I'm just trying to stack about a bolo. Shorty says she fucking for the cash. Then I'm feeling like Pablo. Shorty said it on the man, cause I'm feeling like Pablo. Had to stack a couple bands, and I'm feeling like Pablo. Say that I got it, I'm feeling like Pablo. Like life is a bitch, so you never treat her special Mama told me as a man, I gotta keep my shit together These niggas fuck around and keep it down if you let them Surely love the rolling in the diamonds and the bezel Yeah, yeah, yeah I never been a type that'll fold under pressure Surely says she love the way a nigga go and get it Get that money, we whip it, flip it She throw all that money, we spend it She love the way that I get it, yeah She love the way that I get it Rolling that drink and that swish Cup from the city of killers I'm chilling with niggas that's ready to get you Just so you see how we live And I'm feeling like Pablo Feeling like Pablo yeah, yeah. In my city on the man Treat me like I'm here to hunt shows Had to stack a couple bands If they really want it, I'ma give it to them pronto Tell them I'ma give them what they ask for I'm just trying to stack it by the polo So they say she fucking for the cash And I'm feeling like Pablo Treat me like I'm here to hunt shows. Had to stack a couple bands. If they really want it, I'ma give it to them pronto. Tell them I'ma give them what they ask for. I'm just trying to stack a bottle of polo. So they say she fucking for the cash. I'm feeling like Pablo. City on the man, treat me like I'm here to hunt shows. Had to stack a couple bands. If they really want it, I'ma give it to them pronto. Tell them I'ma give them what they ask for. I'm just trying to stack a bottle of polo. All right, and we're back. Shout out to my boy Els. Yes. And I'm feeling like Pablo. That stuff is catchy. Shout out to Els. I love Els. My other song he have is um, Kimasabi. Whoa, Kimasabi. I'm going to have to get Kimasabi and make sure I put it on my next podcast because that shit is jamming. Alrighty, so for the artist spotlight of today's podcast, it will go to my late Charles homie, B. Lou. Juke. Shout out to the homie B. Lou, Mr. Wanana, Trap on Working, all it there. Yes, yes, yes. B. Lou is a hip hop R&B, uh, excuse me, a hip hop artist that resides in Lake Charles, Louisiana. His brand has expanded to include the Trap Phone Working and the Wanna Na. Trap Phone Working, the reason why um, I will be playing that first is when I first met b I met him through a mutual friend and they were like, hey, you know, I have a cousin. It's pretty dope. Check him out. I heard this song and I was like, yo, this dude has like taking the trap rap lane mixed it with jig and bounce and just smashed it 
So um, Bilu is one of those people. He has a lot of things going on. He's constantly busy. Um, he used to do the softball team. Now he's doing t-ball. He told me. I mean, did softball in a couple seasons, but um, he has a lot of things going on. He uh, is is basically what I call the king of clubs out here. I, I really would call Bilu the king of clubs. He's a very very talented individual. Um, what I have known of him and, and from working with him a couple of times and, and I used to represent Bilu, but, um, one thing I can say about him is he is highly dedicated to the lane that he's created for himself. Um, it's not manufactured, but what I mean created for himself is it's hard to take what he's done and, and it really sounds good. Like, um, it's kind of like when you first hear, um, like a Kevin Gates or a Boosie or a Webby or even like a Mike B or somebody where, where they've just taken a lane of music and, and they've owned it. Like, that's how I feel B. Lou has done in his career when it comes to the music he's released. Um, this particular song, Trap Phone Working, when you hear it, you'll understand why it's one of my favorite B. Lou songs. Like, for real, for real. Um, the, the concept of the song basically in so many ways is it's the trap phone. Don't hit me unless you know how to talk in codes on this here phone. Because if you hit me and you're not in them codes, I ain't going to be able to work it in. And remember, it's, so, it's, it's certain G codes, it's certain rules and regulations to a trap phone, let alone being a trapper. And that's why the trap phone working. Trap phone working. Trap phone working. <laughs> so i like to once again say the artist spotlight for this particular podcast uh, is going to be B. Lou Juke representing Lake Charles, Louisiana. So right now what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn it over to his uh, first release that I ever heard. Like I said, first time I ever heard him. It was this. It was Trap Phone Working. Trap Phone Working. <laughs> very, very, very catchy song. So right now you're tuned in. B. Lou. Trap Phone Working. It's your girl, the Robin H. Got juice? B. Lou. Let's get it. Hiccups. Yeah. I sell his last zone and I'ma take my ass home. 